Hello, this is Jamal Adio Anibaba. I'm gonna do Abib's Uluwa's second record that he recorded, which was on Palafo Foam Label. And the serial number was B, like in boy, 861. Three five one. The side A of that record is running for IG, and I already did that in my earlier recording. Now I'm going to do the side B of it, which is running about Macaulay. Who is about Macaulay? Abak Macaulay was a descendant of the Yoruba returnees after the transatlantic slave trade. The returnees that were coming back in the early 1800s. He was actually born on Lagos Island on Broad Street to the family of of Macaulay and Abigail Crowder. Abigail Crowder was the daughter of the great Bishop Samuel Ajayi Crowder. As a kid, when we were young, while we were on errand here and there, we could cut through the Teku, Teku Boro. The Teku is, is in Brazilian quarters. And you could cut it by Joseph Street by Bank by Bushiri Street, and on the other side of it, you get to the upper campus, and you will see the gravesite of Bishop Samuel Ajayi Crowder. It was it was a big deal because it was it was a nice nice gravesite. That's where a lot of the Goshians, they were pioneers, were buried. As well, the Christian ones. It's no longer there now. The the location is there, but they remove and transfer the grave site to somewhere else. Now back to about Macaulay. His nickname was Eju Niguru. The locals gave him that nickname, Eju Niguru, meaning a loose, deadly snakes. In the city or in town. But it's not for us to be afraid of him. They were saying that, that that's how the British perceive him. They, they f it freaks them out. It freaks out the British. A Johnny Guru, a loose snake. A <laughs> Johnny Guru. Well educated man, dedicated his life to Nigerian independence. He was helping push for the independence of Nigeria, and he died doing that. At the generous age 80 plus, he was still traveling across Nigeria trying to pull people together while he was one of those trips to 
go up north is when he fell sick and go back home and didn't survive that. Okay. But he lived a productive life. It was the same individual that helped the Olua families file their case against the British and even went to Europe with Tijani Amadu Olua and they were able to win their court case in the UK and they got their land back. So all the Yolua land in Apapa and beyond was about my colleague that helped legally get that back from the British. But he didn't stop there. He also helped pull because he understood the divide and rule, how it works. So he kept bringing people together. The traditional least Lagosians, the Muslim Lagosian, and the Christian Lagosians. But Macaulay will be outside of the Lagos Central Mosque, waiting for the Friday Juma prayer to be over with. And after the prayer is over, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi People start trooping out of the central mosque, but my colleague will slip through and go all the way into the back room to go organize with the imam and the rest of the Muslim elders that were there. So he did all that. To keep things going. And when the Eleko was banned, Obayishubai, a colonel Takiji, was banned to Oyo. It was this same about my colleague that kept pushing the British, kept pushing them till they gave in and they had to bring him back from exile. That's about my colleague for you. All this is in early 1900s, 1931. You know, so Eliko was back in 1931 after he'd been sent on exile. So it was about my colleague that did all, that did most of the legwork, pulling people together, pulling the Lu committee together, and all the the Muslim organizations and the elites to keep things going. This song was done by Abib and is a side B. It was a side B only about Macaulay. Mind you, Abib was will be Saika are about 25 years old. He, was, he did these songs in around 1929. He was born in 1904, so he was 25 years old. And he did this. So it goes like this. The lead drummer is still Buckner, aka the governor. Jabi, get my 
When he came out, of, after the trump up charges against him, they sent him to six months hard labor. When the guess he will send you to jail, while people are serving the jail, of course, the one was the other one, the actual one, the, the prison guard they will be wearing their serial numbers. When those they want to finish serving their time and they release them, they'll give them some khaki clothes to wear. Now you've done your time now, you can go now. But the the Yoruba Lagosians, they, they, they weren't fall, falling for that. So they they knew the day it's going to be released. So they cut him the best of the Yoruba attire garment. And make sure he was real, like a, like a royal gab. And they, with their drums and everything, they went to the to the prison to to welcome him out of the place. And they have him wear that gab. So so the attire was symbolic of his leadership that they've given him all along. So the lyric was saying, "E wuta dafu makoli tani lebo." And the lead drama is a bit more in the ball. Oh, my goo goo wash oh ye. A wood tower from one in the ball. We are on guess on the ball. A wood tower. That's a outside, that's not a Yoruba sentence. Makol yeri ye, makol yi go go je go samari salimono. Meaning popular, popular, grand swell popular summary, a popular dude. Salimono. It's an outside word. Any lowo, a, a, a rich person is a wealthy person. But any be more look like someone with basic me, means, but I have productive children. Game over. He's the winner. Any be more look like productive child, not just. Any child, though, because I'm more a dad, I'm more called any low, 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 la. A rich individual is a person of means, is wealthy. But any be more, look where, 
the person that has basic means was able to raise his productive kids on look back from is the winner game over <laughs> Abode ma koli mi oba olorun oba ma se gege bo ti se aparo petridge is a bird ya yeah, aparo petridge to da la so pipon mini la yo join ya no in those days when people come out of jail they come out with the gav the uh, the the Basic clothes that the British will give them when they're stepping out of prison. Then they become the reject, the rejected individual in the society. So they become an aparo. They become a taboo, kind of, within the society. So Abi was the line, the finishing line then. Olorun ba ma se gege bo se saparo to da la so pipon abode ma koli mi oba ma se ye gege bo ti saparo to da la so pipon may you may you not be wretched and be destitute in the society because that's the psychological game the british are hoping they could play but Rather than be that, you shall continue to be prosper. My off, I will replay you now and let you guys just hear it clean. But this was one of the early beginnings of where they started using the talking drum more to start talking. And in the early ones, Buckner was just beating, redeeming beat, redeeming beat. But in this particular track, Ophilusoro, he used the talking drum to talk. Omo igun gun wa show ye. E wu tan wo fun wo ni le bo. So you go like this. So I'll let you guys hear it clean. It was only 25 years old. Right? He's picking the string. Bye. 
Messages from his message, and you will enjoy it. And like I said in the previous previous cut that I did on side A, this is side B. Is known as Abibro Niwasu, meaning Abib the preacher by the by the non elites of Lagos Island. But by the elite, they call him a Bibos Delintin. <laughs> a Bibos Delintin. He died in 1964. So he came on for six decades, six years old. May his soul rest in peace. You guys, don't forget your Dore Me. And they will play with this. And the Lagos Island, we came out with this. That's the difference between Mandero versus. Real livestock skin. Remain blessed. Do good. Stay culturally fit too. <laughs> 